Good morning everyone, my name is Simone Rourke and this morning we'll be doing a new skill. The skill that we'll be doing is denture and mouth care. Guys, keep in mind that all the skills that I put or upload online is, you know, to help you. It's a stepping stone to, you know, achieving your goals. I will be doing denture and mouth care and as usual I'll be explaining as I go along. Remember, I am not perfect and sometimes mistakes will be made if there's a mistake in my video you can you know leave a comment and if it was informative and it helped you could also leave a positive you know comment please subscribe like share and comment so we're going to begin denture and mouth care and i'm going to explain how we begin denture and mouth care so guys when we begin denture and mouth care, the denture is always on the table. So this is my denture and I'm going to place it on the table. When you go into the exam, the examiner has already placed their denture on the table, all right? Now, our denture is always placed into water, all right? Every time we clean, we place it in clean water. So I'm going to begin by putting the denture on the table because this is how we actually begin the skill with the denture on the table. Now I'm going to begin. Remember, the five things that they look for is safety, privacy, infection control, direct and, di direct and indirect contact. Guys, every, every one of the skills, those five those are the five things that they look for. Even um, washing up hands, you need to do all of the five skills, the five um, things that they're looking for. A lot of persons keep ask, asking me only that they look for in the exam. No, that's not all they look for in the exam. But those are the five major things. All right, let's begin. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. My name is Simone Rourke. This morning, I'll be your nursing assistant. Mrs. Jones, I'll be assisting you with denture and mouth care. Is that okay with you, Mrs. Jones? Okay, Mrs. Jones, I'll go wash my hands and I'll be right back. Notice I asked Mrs. Jones if it is okay with her. She gave me her consent. So now I'm going to wash my hands. Before washing my hands, I will give her privacy. I pull the privacy and now I'm going to wash my hands. I am back now I'm going to be talking to mrs. Jones and the reason why I'm going to make sure that mrs. Jones is a correct person sitting here that I'm giving the service on and also to make sure that she's alert mrs. Jones may I see your ID bracelet please what is your name what is your date of birth thank you mrs. Jones I'll go get my supplies and we can begin notice that mrs. Jones knew her name and it is her that is sitting there and she could answer so that means that she's alert if she was not alert guys you must report it to the nurse but mrs jones is okay now i'm going to gather my supplies and i will come back after gathering after coming here to gather my supplies i know what i need because i know what i need i'm going to begin by taking a hand towel i'm going to begin by taking two hand towels one, I'm going to place one on the side of the sink because I know that I am going to use my Emerson basins, all right? So I need to have one on the side of the sink. The next thing I'll be doing is to take a paper towel. Now, this paper towel is for opening the drawer, touching the knobs when I'm pulling out the drawer. When you need paper towel to open the drawer and also when you're turning on the taps, okay guys? So now, I'll be taking, I know I need my equipment or supplies out of this drawer. So I know for sure that I need two emesis basin. I need my mouthwash. I also need my swabs, my cotton swabs to clean the gum. And I need my toothpaste 
and my toothbrush. So far, so good, okay? Now I'm going to close back the drawer. This paper towel, I'll be placing it in this hand. The next thing I will need is a small towel. I know I need a small towel. I place it here. And of course, when I'm going there, I'll be throwing away this paper towel. When I get here, I know I need two cups. These, these are two cups that I need. Notice guys, I place the cup on my pinky finger. I know I need two pairs of gloves. I have them here. And I also know that I need a chuck. That's it. I come here. When I get here, I'm going to put down my supplies here. Okay, everything is there. Putting it down, my cups are here, and I place everything on the chuck. Now, I know what I need to do first, and the first thing I need to do is to make sure I have one of my Emerson basin with my toothbrush, toothpaste, and of course, I'm going to go to the bathroom to take care of the denture. Now guys, I'm going to put on my first pair of gloves. Now, notice I have my toothbrush with my toothpaste and I have my denture. I'm going to clean the denture. I go to the bathroom and I place my Emerson Basin and my denture on my paper towel on the side of the sink. But before I turn on the pipe, the tap, I am going to place some towels in the sink. The reason why I'll be placing these towels in the sink is for the dention. You know, if the denture falls, you don't want it to, you know, be, um, to have any cracks or dents or to break. So these are to cushion the denture, the denture if it falls. Okay, try your best not to let the denture fall. We're just this is just precaution. Okay, guys. So I'll be placing these in the sink. And of course, I'll begin. I take a hand towel and I'm going to turn on the tap. Turning on the tap, I put wet my toothbrush and I'm going to put some toothpaste on it. Of course, I'll be making sure my toothbrush and my toothpaste is ready. And the next thing I'll be doing is to Take my denture, place it in the Emerson Basin, and I'm going to throw away the water. Now, I'm using the, this is the towel I took to turn on the tap. So I'm going to turn on the tap. I'm going to make sure the temperature is okay, and I'm going to throw away the hand towel. Now I'm washing the, I'm washing the cup for the denture. I wash it and I make sure I have some clean water for when I'm finished cleaning the denture. And then I'm going to wash the top of the, 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 the denture holder. Now, remember, I have put toothpaste on my toothbrush, so I'm going to begin washing the, brushing the denture. Guys, when you're brushing the denture, never hold the denture um, like in your hand, um, you must hold the denture over the, the sink. Never hold the denture like this. I'm only holding it like this for you to see, all right? But never make that mistake because it can fall out of your hands. Now that I'm doing this, I'm going to be brushing the denture. The first thing I'm doing is to wash the pallets, right? Guys, I should be washing it over the, the sink like this. So let me do it like this, stand to the side and so you can see. And I'm brushing the inside of the teeth, all right? The next one is that I'm going to brush on the hair, then around like this. And then I'm going to brush 
the teeth on the outside, all right? When I'm finished, I'm going to rinse the denture. I'm rinsing the denture. And I'm also rinsing the brush. I'm going to place the denture in the cup and I'm going to cover it. I'm finished with the denture, okay? Now I'll be washing the Emerson Basin because I had placed the denture in it. I wash the Emerson Basin and the next thing I'll be doing is to dry the Emerson Basin. I dry the inside with a hand towel, throw it away. And then I'll be drying the outside, okay? And I throw it away. Put it back here, rinse the brush again, and I'll be drying the brush, the handle of the brush, place it in the basin, throw away. And I'm going to also, guys, because the toothpaste was lying on the, it has water on it, I'm going to be drying it off throw that away and I place it in the Emerson Basin. The next thing I'll be doing is to dry the cup of the, the cup with the denture because of course I washed it and I didn't dry it and I'm going to be placing it where it should go. And then after finishing all of that, I'll be turning the tap off with a paper towel. Now I'll be taking everything that I use I'll be taking it back okay when I'm here before I take this back I forgot something guys remember I'm taking the Emerson basin back I need a hand towel to open the drawer again all right so this is my paper towel so when I reach here I must ask Mrs. Jones where would she like her denture of course mrs jones is going to say she'll like her denture on the desk because she's going to clean her mouth she would like to put back her denture in her mouth all right so mrs jones where would you like your denture okay so i will place the denture here and of course i'll put back the first emerson basin that i'm finished using back in the drawer so i'll be opening the drawer Oh guys, you're not helping me today. One thing I forgot. Every time we're placing any um, equipment that we use, we are to place it on a hand towel because we don't want it to leave the mark in the drawer, all right? So I should have placed it like this. A hand towel in my hand, I place it like this when I'm taking it back, all right? So now, I open the drawer and I'm going to place it in the drawer. So I place the hand towel inside there and then I place the Emerson on the hand towel in the drawer, okay? And then I close it back with the towel that I used to open the drawer, all right? Now guys, I am here. I'm finished doing the denture. So I'm going to remove this glove. When I come here, I'm going to take out all that I had in the sink and I'm going to dispose of it. I'm going to pinch the glove in the middle, pull it down, put two fingers inside here and I'm going to roll it over and throw it away. Then I'm going to see I wash my hands, my hands are clean and I come back here. Now I'm going to do the second part of the skin. Remember we're doing denture and mouth care. I just did the denture so now I'm going to do the mouth care. Remember, Mrs. Jones does not, maybe she has one or two teeth, but she doesn't have much. I'm going to clean her gums now, okay? So I know for sure that I need water. I cannot put on my gloves first. I must go and get my water. So I'm going to fold this cup with water. So when I come here, I take a paper towel, as usual, to turn on the tap. I test, I throw it away. I'm testing the temperature before I throw it away. Test the temperature. If the temperature is okay, I'm going to throw away the hand towel. I'm going to fold the cup. 
When I'm finished, I'm going to take a hand towel, turn off the tap, and I'm going to throw it away. Now I have my cup full with water. Now, the reason why I have a full cup of water is I need a little in the neck velvet cup like this because I need to dilute the Listerine because you don't want the Listerine to burn the resident's mouth, all right? So I need to dilute it. And this, of course, is to rinse the gum when, I, rinse the gum when I'm finished brush, um, taking care of it, all right? So after I have everything in order, I'm going to put, put on my gloves, all right? The second pair of gloves. So I put on my gloves. After putting on my gloves, I'll be placing the towel across Mrs. Jones' chest so that it, her chest does not get wet. Mrs. Jones, I'll be placing this towel across your chest. Notice I'm informing her what I'm doing of what I'm doing. When I'm placing the, the towel, I never open the towel in the air, but I place it on her chest like this, and I open it. Okay. Now, everything here I need, and of course, I'm going to begin. Now, these are swabs, um, swab sticks, and they're always in Listerine. They, they're mostly in Listerine. So you really don't need to wet it. You just can begin. But the first thing I'll do is to make sure Mrs. Jones' mouth is wet. You don't want it to be dry and irritating Mrs. Jones' mouth. You want it to be moist, all right? So the first thing I'll do is to rinse Mrs. Jones' mouth. Mrs. Jones, can you rinse your mouth? Very good, Mrs. Jones. And now we're going to begin. So I'm going to be holding the Emerson under her chin and I'm going to begin. Notice the top teeth grows downward. So we're going to be going from top to bottom. Okay, Mrs. Jones, let's begin. Open your mouth, Mrs. Jones. And I'm doing top to bottom, top to bottom, top, bottom, you know, straight around. Will you care to speak, Mrs. Jones? It's very good. Now I'm going to clean the upper um, gum from, from Mrs. Jones. So when I'm cleaning it, I'm going to do in, out. So it's like an N on like this that's an n all right because i'm cleaning the up under the upper gum of mrs jones all right so it's an n like this sorry okay very good mrs jones would you care to spit remember we don't mix clean with dirty all right so or dirty with clean very good mrs jones would you care to rinse your mouth so she rinses and she rinses very good so i'm going to do the bottom teeth now the bottom gum sorry she don't have no teeth so it is the bottom grows from bottom to top like bottom top so this is how we're going to go from bottom upwards all right so let's begin mrs jones that's how you do the gum okay oh so all this time guys you don't know, even though I did the, even though I did the, um, the bottom, the top gum, you know, you can wash across the gum like this also at the top. You should, because sometimes food is, um, up there, you know, stored there. So let's, even though I made this mistake, I'm going to do the top again, just to show you what I mean. So when I'm doing the top, I'm going to go from top to bottom, top to bottom. And I'm also going to like rub the gum a little, like when you're brushing your teeth, because you want to make sure you get all the food out of Mrs. Jones' mouth, all right? And then you do the end, the end, the end, the end. Okay, after doing that, you will rinse the mouth and you rinse, rinse. Okay, two rinses. Then I'm going to do the bottom, like, and this time we're going to do a U. Like that, okay? And then we're going to rinse. Come, Mrs. Jones. Let's rinse. Let's rinse. Very good. Now, after doing that, you must ask Mrs. Jones if she would care to have some Listerine. Mrs. Jones, would you care to have some Listerine? Yes, she please. says yes. 
I open the Listerine and I'm going to dilute the water, um, throw it in the water so that it gets diluted. And then I'm going to rinse Mrs. Jones' mouth twice. One. Very good, Mrs. Jones. So Mrs. Jones is finished. And now I'm going to be doing the wiping her mouth because she's finished. Pat, pat, the far side first. Pat, pat, the near side. And then I'm going to be taking away her towel. After taking away her towel, I'm finished with Mrs. Jones. So now I'll be taking away the water. Now this has been water. So I'll be throwing all the water that I'm, I used in here. This is it. So I'll be taking the cups with me. And of course, this is what I'm good. I need to take away first. When I come here, I'm going to dispose of the cups. And now I'm going to be washing the Emerson basin. Take a hand towel, test the temperature, throw this away, and I'm going to be washing the Emerson Basin. After washing the Emerson Basin, I'll be <coughs> taking a towel to turn off the tap. And of course, I'll be drying the Emerson Basin inside. Then I'll dry the outside. And of course, I'll place, remember I told you as I don't want this the bottom to leave a mark in the drawer, so I'll place the place it on the hand towel and I'll also take a chuck to open the drawer. Remember when I took out the Emerson basin, I also took the Listerine with me. I always also took it, so I'm going to put it back. Alright, guys. I'm going to open the drawer as usual. Place the hand towel in the drawer and then open the drawer more and I'm going to place the Emerson basin inside the drawer. When I'm here, I'm going to throw away the paper towel. The next thing I'll be taking away is my washables because this goes from, these are disposable. I won't use them again, but this can be washed and used again. All right, so I'll put this in my ample. The next thing I'll do is to take away the disposables. And these, we're going to throw them in the garbage. Notice I did not roll it to Mrs. Jones or myself. I rolled it away from or to myself and Mrs. Jones. I throw this in the disposable. The next thing I'll do is to make sure Mrs. Jones can reach me whenever she needs me. Mrs. Jones, here's your call bell. Feel free to call me if you need anything. I come here. I open the privacy because I want Mrs. Jones to be comfortable so she can see anyone who's passing, see the nurse and or her fellow resident that is next to her. And I come here. Remember the towel that I placed on the side of the sink. I will now remove it, throw it in the garbage. Then I will pinch the middle of my glove, take it off, roll it over with my two fingers, throw it away. I'll wash my hands and I'll come back here to say my skill is finished. Now guys, in the skills that I have done, if I made mistakes, I clarified it, all right? Because of course, we're, I'm having help from other persons. But note this, remember, even though you see the skills online, you must go to a school to learn it. This is just to help you, to remind you, to keep you on point. All right, and to explain why I'm doing some stuff, why, why anything is being done. And I hope you understand them. I hope it's informative. I hope that this is a stepping stone that is helping you to achieve your goals. Okay, guys, another skill was made. Whoop, whoop, I did it again.